Paneer recipes are something that we all commonly enjoy and mutter paneer is one of the most popular recipes. So today we're going to do a very delicious mutter paneer recipe. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For the mutter paneer, first I'm going to saute a few ingredients. For this, take a kadai, add one tablespoon of oil. To this, I'm going to add six cloves of garlic and a piece of ginger, three medium-sized onions, roughly chopped. So you can see once the onions are transparent, next I'm going to add four medium-sized tomatoes, roughly chopped. Cook the tomatoes till they're nice and mushy. To this, add half teaspoon of salt. So you can see the tomatoes have become nice and mushy. Turn off the stove. Cool the mixture completely. After the mixture is cooled down, transfer it to a mixer jar. Add a little water if required and grind it to a nice fine paste. To the same kadai, add 1 tablespoon of oil, 2 teaspoons of ghee. Next, add the ground tomato and onion paste. To this, I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder. Next, add half teaspoon of salt, mix everything together. Cook the gravy for 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, I'm going to add the cooked peas, half cup and 200 grams of paneer cut into cubes. So you can see the dish, it has very few ingredients and very simple ingredients but the taste is amazing. To this, I'm going to add half cup of water. Close and cook for about 10 minutes on medium flame. The matar paneer has been cooking for 10 minutes. Open the kadai, add half teaspoon of garam masala powder. I'm adding some crushed kasuri methi, this is optional. Add some chopped coriander leaves. Mix everything. Turn off the stove. The mutter paneer is ready to be served. There you go. Here is this absolutely delicious mutter paneer recipe that you can try and enjoy it with some naan, roti or chapati by the side. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 frame.